Welcome Adwords, I'm Armin from the POS and IoT Expertise team. In this video, we'll guide you through setting up an Ingenico payment terminal with Adoo, covering compatibility, configuration and best practices. Let's take a closer look at what you can expect when using an integrated Ingenico payment terminal. First, the payment amount will be automatically sent to the payment terminal. The transaction will be either validated or declined depending on your payment provider's response. Currently, refunds are not integrated, but this functionality might be added in the future updates. When selecting a payment terminal, it's important to check the following elements. Does Odoo integrate with the payment provider? You can check uh, this information by going on our online documentation. If the payment provider isn't listed, it means we don't have an integration for that provider. Let's go ahead and take a look to our online documentation. So here I'm on the payment terminal section and you can see the different payment providers we have an integration with. The country is also very important. So some countries are only available in specific ones. Then the model of the terminal is also important, so you need to check if Odoo has a compatibility with a specific payment terminal for that payment provider. And then, is the use of an IoT box required for the integration? If so, please note that you need one IoT box per payment terminal, as the communication process is quite complex and requires an exclusive path. The IoT can either be physical or virtual, we also call it the Windows IoT. Now, lastly, the version of Voodoo is also important. Ensure that the payment provider integration is supported in your version. You can verify this directly in your database by reviewing the POS settings. Let's go ahead and take a look. So here I'm going to jump into the configuration of my point of sale in the settings. And if you scroll down, you will see we have the payment terminal section here where you can verify if the payment provider is compatible in your version. Now, let's take a look at Ingenico payment terminals. So those terminals are only available in the Benelux region, so Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. Models like the Move, Desk, or Lane 5000 terminals are network-based. Now, take into account that if you would like to have the integration, you will need an IoT for it to function properly. So the IoT can be either uh, physical or virtual, and you'll need one IoT per payment terminal. Good, now let's jump into the Ingenico configuration. Make sure to install the Ingenico module before doing the IoT configuration. Let's take a look into the database. So go to the point of sale application, go to configuration, settings, and then you can scroll to the payment terminal section. So here you can check the Ingenico module. Good, so now let's continue by setting up the IoT box. Refer to our online guide uh, video guide for the step-by-step -step instructions or our online documentation. Now, you'll need an IP address uh, for your IT system for the next steps. Make sure that a router assigns a fixed IP address to your IoT box and not a dynamic one. This is very important as you need to enter the IP address in the Ingenico terminal to establish the connection with Odoo. Good, so let's take a look at our IoT configuration in the database. So let's jump to IoT. And here you can see my IoT has been connected. So what you'll need is the number here, so the IP of the IoT that you can see. Good, so now let's jump to the configurations on the terminal side. For lane 5000, press F. And for desk and move 5000, press the white button. Go to the point of sale CASA menu. Then navigate to the settings menu and enter the settings password. Next, select change connection and press on OK. Choose TCP over IP and then enter the IP address of your IoT system. Now set the port number to 9000, then press OK. Once done, the terminal will restart and should now be displayed in the IoT system form in Odoo. Now let's check if the IoT detects the payment terminal. So for that you can go in your IoT module. We can jump to the devices and here you can see that the Ingenico payment terminal is well detected. Now if that's not the case, what you can do is navigate to the IP address of your IoT. And here you can restart the IoT from here. Now, if you're using Windows, just restart the service. 
Good. So now that we have the IoT, the Ingenico payment terminal detected by your IoT, we can go to the point of sale and we're going to finish the configuration of our payment method. So let's jump to Ingenico. Here you can select the terminal integration, integrate with Ingenico. And here you can select the Ingenico terminal that is detected by the IoT device. Let's go ahead and save. Good, so now that our payment method has been created, we need to make sure that the Ingenico payment method is also added in the post configurations. So let's go ahead and select our point of sale. And here you can add the Ingenico payment method. Let's go ahead and open our shop. And now let's simulate a transaction. So let's walk through what happens next. I select a product and then I hit the payment screen and here we can select our payment uh, method in Genico. Now the total is automatically sent to the integrated in Genico terminal, so no manual input needed. The customer taps their card and the payment is validated in real time. The sales is recorded in Odoo instantly and as you can see, it's fast, secure and fully integrated. No switching screens or manually entering amount. This is what modern retail should feel like. Okay, Odooers, to ensure smooth integration, here are some tips and best practices. Ensure Odoo, the IoT box and the payment terminal are on the same network. Always install the Ingenico module before connecting the IoT, otherwise the IoT system won't detect the terminal. If the third mode doesn't appear in the available devices, try restarting the IoT box or the Windows IoT service. Ensure your router assigns a fixed IP address to your IoT box and not a dynamic one. Finally, you will need one IoT for each Ingenico payment terminal. The IoT can either be physical or virtual. That's all for setting up the payment terminals with Odoo. By following these step-by-steps and best practices, you'll have a seamless integration. Thank you for watching.